What's going on guys, Flippin' and Jay. Today I am in this beautiful three family in Pacific, New Jersey. I got my guy Juan Santana from Home Team Mortgage with me. People always ask me, Caesar, how did you become so successful and so rich in real estate? Very simple, buying under market value real estate. I buy the ugliest houses, example here, and make them the nicest houses, right? The prettiest houses. So let's say you're somebody that doesn't have that 20% to do a hard money loan. Right. Guess what? FHA 203K will help you out get this a property like this, three and a half percent down, go on to the house. Let's crush the numbers. Let's talk about the magic of this program, right? You're buying the house of $300,000, you can finance the $150,000 in repairs, zero dollars out of pocket for that portion. You're acquiring a 450, coming out of pocket only $15,750. Think about that, $15,750 for three family. And guess what? ARV on this particular property is 550 to 600,000. That means you have equity of anywhere between 100 to 150. Where else, with as little as an investment of 15K, can you make potentially 100 to 150,000? This house is a real house on the market in 2023. This deal's out there. If you want to learn more, click the link in the bio. And let's make 2023 the year that all our dreams come through. Let's all become landlords. Let's all take it to the next level and build wealth through real estate. That's all we do. Let's go, baby. If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Are we rocking and rolling? We, rock we got Team Jenny, right? And we got C's with the flipping NJs, right? And we all coming together right now to talk about one thing, business, real estate, and putting your money into a great position of where it can grow for you and go for you. I'm joining the team. You should join the team too. Flipping NJ and Team Jenny. Get in where you fit in and tell them Snoop Dogg sent you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all see old Snoop Dogg, you know what I mean? Uh-uh. But what I need y'all to do is this right here. I need y'all to pay close attention to the body language of Caesar. Check it out. Are we rocking and rolling? We, rock we got Team Jenny, right? And we got C's with the flipping NJs, right? And we all coming together right now to talk about one thing, business, real estate, and putting your money into a great position of where it can grow for you and go for you. I'm joining the team. You should join the team too. Flipping NJ and Team Jenny. Get in where you fit in and tell them Snoop Dogg sent you. Does Caesar look nervous or am I tripping? Does he look uncomfortable or am I tripping? Does he even look like he's excited or anything? Does he look like he's guilty or something or am I tripping? Now look, I'm going to keep it real with y'all because we hood educated, not lame related. Um, That man right there looks scared for some reason. He look uncomfortable. He look like, you know, when, when you when you check your child when they done did something wrong and you say, and they they get the fidgeting and they don't want to give you no eye contact or nothing like that. That's what he look like. But don't only just pay uh, attention to his uh, body language. Pay attention to Snoop body language. Now, as y'all can see, the difference. Snoop is excited. He appears to be happy, right? Two different languages going on here. Snoop, Snoop appears to be uh, confident. You see what I'm saying? Now, we got to understand something, y'all, about this whole ordeal. Snoop fell for it hook, line, and sinker. And this video tells us that he fell for it. Why? Because he's trying to encourage other people to get in on the thing that Caesar got going on. Not only that, y'all seen it. He got his son there with this man. And here's more evidence 
that Snoop Dogg fell for the okie doke. Check it out. Y'all see that? This man all in the newspaper. Caesar done plugged him in tune with the mayor. Snoop on the phone with the mayor. Hey, look, you know what I'm saying, dog? I'm coming down there, and I'm finna buy some of that property down there because I know it's hot. You understand? When yeah. Yeah, he done sold that dream to Snoop. Snoop done bought it. Now, I got to be 100 with y'all. If somebody puts you on the phone with the mayor, hey, man, hey, come on, man. Like, that's convincing. You know what I'm saying? If you, hey, I'm going to put you on the phone with the mayor, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hood educator. Man, I'm convinced now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you plugged up with, the, you can call the mayor on FaceTime and, and put me in tune with, hey, I'm spending a couple hundred thousand too, man. I ain't going to lie. Come on, we got to be 100, y'all. I ain't going to lie. And so, that's how I know Snoop done fell for it. Because I'm talking about he was too invested. Talking on the phone with the mayor and all that old type of stuff. Come on, man. Now, here it is. Snoop Dogg is so embarrassed that he ain't finna come out and tell the world, hey, man, they got me. But I guarantee you, he one of them victims in the lawsuit. I guarantee you, him or his son is one of the victims in that lawsuit. But he is so embarrassed, he got so much pride and ego that he ain't going to come out and say, say, man, you know, dude, bust a move on me, man. He got me. You know what I'm saying? He got me. Now, he probably done had conversations with DJ Envy behind the scene like, damn, bro, like, why you put me in tune with this dude? I gave this dude 500000 All because of your face. You feel what I'm saying? All because of your face. I gave this man 500000 here, 400000 there. Because the scheme is upwards to $40 million. $40 million scheme. And, and with all due respect, uh, I don't know too many poor peoples with that type of money. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know too many poor people with, you know, that type of cash just to be shelling out like that. Hey, man, here, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I don't know too many people like that. Now, here it is, not just Snoop, but we got Big Mike endorsing this guy. Check it out. I have hijacked and kidnapped DJ Envy. Don't <laughs> worry, he'll be back, but I'm with my man Caesar right now. I said, Caesar, you got to show me the gold mines that surround me. So I grew up here. We're on Martin Luther King. We're right in Adamsville. I grew up in these apartments doing some things that should have got my ass locked up forever. But now I'm here today learning how to invest. So Caesar, what we got? Got 28 unit building. 28 unit building. Looks like a home run to me. 28 two bedrooms, townhouse style. Yup. We see opportunity down here. See opportunity. That's all we see. And we're not going to pay a lot of money for it. Oh, no, no. That, that's key. That's Under market value. <laughs> that's what I'm learning from him. Guys like Kenny, shout out. Appreciate y'all. And um, I'm about to go ride around look at some more shit. Yup. Now, here it is, right? We got Big Mike, you know, hey, man, you know, doing this thing with him. But Big Mike said he ain't spend no money with him. You see how Big Mike came out and, and, and let it be known? Hey, man, I ain't no victim. I ain't help victimize nobody, man. I ain't spend no money with the guy, nothing. Big Mike came out and cleared the air. Hey, man, I ain't had nothing to do with that. Where's Snoop at? Why Snoop ain't come out and say, hey, man, you know what? I was wrong for endorsing this right here. He can't because he wanted the victims. He can't come out and say, hey, I ain't had nothing. No, he one of the victims. It's just that simple. I mean, like, look, allow me to say this right here. And, and, and I got to be real with y'all. This scheme that this boy was running was cold-blooded. And I'm talking about cold-blooded on two levels. It was cold-blooded because he was taking money from hard-working people. And using it for his own selfish gain. But then it was cold-blooded because of the way the scheme went. Allow me to break it down for y'all. This is what Caesar would do. 
Caesar will show you a property. Say the property is, is kind of downtrodden and you know, you probably can get it for 200,000. But they are gonna invest another 200,000 in the property. He gonna tell you, hey, you give me 200,000 in the property, you know what I'm saying? We can invest that and we can turn this property into a million dollar property or something like that. And I'm gonna give you your 200,000 back not only that, I'm going to give you an extra 200000 for helping me invest in the property and bring the property value up. And people was going for it. They was biting on it. The cold-blooded part about the whole ordeal was this right here. Caesar already owned the property. So you wouldn't buy nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Your money was being invested into his property. It's his property that you investing your money into. But not only that, once Caesar realized that he can sell his property or have you invest in his property for 200,000, he'll go to somebody else and then have them invest 200,000. He'll go to somebody else and have them invest 200,000. He'll go to somebody else and have them invest 200,000. So he's selling the same one property that is his to five to ten people. That's a cold blooded demonstration. I, I mean, we gotta keep it real. Like that, that's a cold blooded demonstration right there. I mean, here it is. This man right here is, is I'm talking about doubling up on them and they going for it first started right i didn't know anything right that's when it came to finance so every time that i would buy a property right all of my money will be tied up in that property till i sold it or i refinance year number two this guy called me and said hey you're doing you're doing it the wrong way opm other people's money private financing you know hard money loans whatever it was at the time the key to build long-term wealth in real estate is learning how to leverage your money and using as little of your money as possible to make more money so here's the thing, and, and we got to be real, y'all. A lot of the times when stuff like this happens, it's because of our own desires and our own greed. Somebody try to give us something that's too good to be true, sometimes we got to do our homework, y'all. When somebody trying to give us something that's too good to be true, we got to do background checks. We got to check a background. Hey, man, hold on. I appreciate you trying to do this, but how many people have you done this for that you gave this money to? Let me see your receipts. Let me go talk to them. You see what I'm saying? Let me go, oh, you did this for Snoop, and you did it for DJ Envy, and you did it for Big Mike. Okay, then. All right, cool, bro. Let me go holler at them. Snoop, what's going on? What's up with dude Caesar? He good? Yeah, man. You know, he can turn my money back. I've been dealing with him for years now. All right, cool, bro. Big Mike, what's going on, man? How dude Caesar doing? Oh, yeah, he's straight, bro. I've been dealing with him for the last two years, man. Every time I get my money, he, he bring it back. DJ Envy, what's going on? Oh, yeah, man. I've been business partners with him, man, for 17 years now, man. We Background check. You got to nowadays. I mean, listen. In any job in America, any job, what they do, a background check. Why? Because they want to know if your history good. Oh, well, we want to hire you to, uh, to weld over here for our company. You did some welding before? Yeah, you said you weld for McDonald's and Burger King and all of them? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it. They going to call them people. Hey, was hood educated over there welding? No, he ain't weld for us. Mm. Seems kind of funny. Let's call McDonald's. Hey, was Hood educated over there welding for y'all? No, nah, he never well for us. Red flag. You can't come in. Uh, -uh. it's over with. Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm trying to see if, if y'all tried to hire me or anything. Well, no, we checked your background, Mister Hood educated, and you know certain things didn't match up to what you put on your application, and we're not going to be able to hire you right now because we are looking for people with experience, and you know we called McDonald's, we called Burger King, and they said you never worked for them before. They doing a background check. When you giving somebody your hard earned money, you need to be doing a background check. 
just doing a, a background check can save your money, can save your heart, your pain, your stress, all that. Before investing, do some homework. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. We want to see you guys September 26th in Atlantic City. Now, if you don't know, I own over 200 units. Caesar owns over 1,600 units. And we're going to be breaking down how we make money. So we're going to start with credit, financing, hard money lending, how we find the deals, wholesaling. Um, Auction.com. Mm -hmm. uh, the city of Atlantic City is going to be there, courtesy of Marty Smalls. We're going to be, they're going to give us the list for city-owned properties. Um, we're going to talk about, which we haven't done before, a little bit of Airbnb, mm -hmm. that business that we're not into, but we'll have somebody there that could, you know, guide people how to be successful in it. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much everything everything in the world you can think about when it comes to real estate will be there that day. And not only that, we're going to be giving one lucky person one of these chains. Now, these chains are serious. Whoever we give this chain to in our camp or our friends, they own properties and they invest. So we're going to be giving one lucky person one of these chains, courtesy of Tajia Diamonds. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be giving the chain, Pooch the, the jeweler. So we want to see you guys. Tickets are just $99 right now. So get your tickets. We want to see you there September 26th, all right? Can't wait to meet you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will be owning a bunch of real estate, creating generational wealth. So we'll see you on September 26th. And that's a crazy investment when you think about it, right? We're all about the, the, home, de the home runs, grand slams. For $100 a ticket, you have a chance of making $10,000 that day. That's Pretty right. much that's what will we'll work, right? Between the, the chain and, and us. That's $10,000. Bro, that's a that's a home. Uh, we, we can't, no? No, we can't keep this. No, we can't keep this. We're giving it to somebody. So we'll see you September 26th. Now, I got to get on DJ Envy. I got to get on you. Because there's no way that you finna sit up here and tell us that you did not know what was going on. You not finna do that, bro. You started business with this man ever since 2017. And you mean to tell me you have not known none of the business that's going on with your business partner? Come on, bruh. No, we hood educated, not lane related. You ain't finna do us like that. Y'all business partners. Let me explain something to y'all. If you go into business with somebody, I'm speaking to the hood educated residents and the guests that's watching right now. If you go into business with anybody, when they get the willing and dealing and doing certain things, you're going to want to know. Like, hey, bro, what, what was that all about? How much money we making? How are we paying our rent? How are we paying our bills? What are we going to do? How we doing this? How we doing that? So you mean to tell us that you just ain't know nothing? Uh-uh. The hood educated lie detector test has determined that is a lie. You lying. And we ain't gonna just let you go like that. Because y'all been in business ever since 2017. He been cheating people ever since then. In y'all business office. In the building that y'all was in. Your office right here. His office right there. You mean to tell me, DJ Envy, you not seeing people coming to the office, signing contracts, giving away their money to your business partner. And you ain't never once questioned, hey, who was that? What was that all about? Not only that, though, we dealing with black peoples and Latino peoples. When we get cheated out of our money, we don't play no games like that. We we coming to the business, bro. We knocking on doors. Hey, hold on. Nuh-uh. I need to holler at somebody. That check you gave me, that joint bounced. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, no, nah, uh-uh, come on. You know, we, we coming to the office screaming, yelling, fighting, scratching. You not finna cheat us out of our money and think that we just finna be quiet. No. So you can't tell me that out of all this time that not one person came to that office building where y'all was located at your, your office right here his office right there that ain't nobody coming there hooting and hollering about being cheated out their money and you ain't hear about it being that you are the face of this whole demonstration 
We wouldn't even know Caesar if it wasn't for you, DJ Envy. We wouldn't even know him. But now the World Wide Web know him. Why? Because of you, DJ Envy, going state to state, doing seminars with him, telling people about real estate and how this guy right here can help them in their real estate endeavors. No, bro. You was not finna tell us that you did not know anything. That's impossible. Y'all business partners. And not only that, being that you are cooperating now, that tells us you got to know something. You got to know the inner workings of the business. Because if you didn't, how could you cooperate? What could you tell them? Since you don't know nothing, that's what you're telling us. I don't know nothing, bro. If you don't know nothing, how can you cooperate? Come on, man. We hood educated, not lane related, bro. We ain't going for it. You only The only way you can cooperate is because you know the inner workings of what's going on. And you finna tell them the inner workings of what's going on. Period. So all that stuff with him trying to back you to my some He wasn't in the room with me and all that. We ain't going for it. And you talking about some you lost money and all that. If you lost money dealing with Caesar... If Caesar, if you did a deal, DJ Envy, listen to me. If you did a deal with Caesar, somebody that you was promoting to the people that you're trying to help, and he scammed you, you should have been the first one ringing the bell. Hey, no, -uh. don't deal with him. Ding, 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 ding. No, ding, ding. Don't deal with him. This guy done scam me. He'll scam you. I'm his partner. Ding, ding. You should have been the first one. But you wasn't. Why? Because you knew the whole demonstration. You knew the whole demonstration. And now that everything that came out, and now he trying to say well, you didn't know anything, I understand why. Because we hood educated, not lane related. He finna go to jail and you got to take care of him. You got to take care of his family. Caesar is the fall guy. Period. That's the only way I can see it. If you don't see it that way, y'all get in, get in the comments and tell me how y'all see it. Because that's the only way. Caesar is the fall guy. He done been to the joint before. He done did time before. So here it is. He, Hey, man, look, bro. We got caught, man. Look, just take care of my family, man. Take care of this for me. I'm going to go do five, ten years. I'll be back, man. All right, I got you, bro. And then as soon as you get out, I'm going to hit you with a couple million on the back end so you can get back into the groove with that. All right, bro. Appreciate you, man. It's that simple. Ain't no other way. All that I didn't know, nothing and all that. Man, I'm talking, these people think people illiterate. And to be truthful, some people are illiterate. But come on, man. Like, you're not finna just get on here and just tell us you, don't, you ain't know nothing. So here it is, hood educated residents and guests. We got to be more careful, especially with our money. Um, especially people that's poor and trying to make it. Y'all know how I know. People in the hood will kill you behind their money. And here it is. We got these guys right here playing with thousands and hundreds of thousands and probably millions of people's money and they still running around like they ain't even did nothing wrong this man right here done bailed out on a million dollars how was he able to do that uh i thought they were supposed to confiscate all his funds because he done tricked everybody out their money that he shouldn't be able to use a million dollars that's what they do to small time drug dealers in the hood you they when they come and raid you they take all your money cut all your assets off you can't move nothing so how is this possible because he still got connections if they cut his money off and said he can't use his money what they normally do because of you know his fraud dealings then that's somebody on the outside that put that million dollars up for him here get my boy up out of there you see what i'm saying so we got to be way careful. We got to do our homework. And we got to be vigilant. 
when it comes to spending uh, money. Just because we see somebody, you know, kicking it with all the stars and bumping shoulders with the, you know, people that we idolize and look up to and stuff like that, that doesn't mean that they got our best interests at stake. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Peace and love.